Katonda bwateko omuntu ku nsi ya mwaje bayite nsi. When the Lord blesses the man on earth he gives him the world. Kati goine nsi iyo. Now you have your world. Ne nsi ye manyo kwa kama aka sana. But within your world drought comes in. Na yo kusaba, no kusabera. But through prayer and earnestly praying. O kusaba butakoa. Praying without ceasing. Praying not until you be whole of it. Amen. It will make crops grow in your land. It will make crops grow in your land. Job says that there is hope. If a tree is cut down, once its root is still within the ground, that because of the water and the scent of the rain, all this tree will sprout out again. I want to speak unto you who's life has been cut short. I want to talk to a family that has lost sheep. I want to speak unto Uganda where its people call it this Uganda. Brethren, when we pray, and the rain of his presence reigns, Amen. We are going to see things proud out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. be restored. The time I've been in ministry, I've learned that life is with us and life can go. You can hold a spiritual life. But there is a time that reaches and you feel like you, don't, you no longer feel it. I've listened to people people clearly know that even in businesses there is life you ask someone what happened to your business the business died even cars died and you say a car now is spoiled now a machine that doesn't have life what, what is it from it? My garden is dead. My stomach is dead. A plan is now corrupt and dead. I had hope, but my hope is dead. The Lord, the God we believe in, in whatever you call yours and life dwells within it. Amen. He can restore life into it. Let someone raise his hand in the air. And surely you want the Lord to come back and restore the life of the things in your family. The Lord, the God of Israel. The Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Lord, the God of Elijah. We call back life to be restored in all our possessions. Speak, Lord, I call upon life to be restored. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord restore life in the children. May the Lord restore life in your marriage. May the Lord restore life in your plans. Brethren, a corpse can make you lose, can, can take away your peace. Let it be it where your closest friend. First of all, it's scaring. It, it comes with a lot of terror. It does not convert. It's, it's Ruled by the law of rotting. But if we come back to God, what you see as a corpse to you, the Lord, the God of Elijah, will visit it with power than the earthly power. Will touch it with his touch. Brethren, our God is the spring of life. Whoever holds him gives life as well. There are some problems when the solution is not medicine. But holding on to the Lord who answers. Amen. Say, I will hold of him today. In Jesus' name. 
always God. When we call the God of Elijah, we are responding to the Lord, the God who is providing. There is another invisible kind of economy. It walks alongside the earthly economies. Crisis, depression. That when the earthly economy is fighting the crisis and depression, the heavens have an answer. Listen to this. The God who provided for the sons of Israel in the wilderness. Without production and means of distribution. And children have had shoes. They had dresses that were fitting them. That food would descend from heaven unto them. That water could flow. Follow them. Brethren, the Lord can still provide for our best needs. He can feed you. And he will feed you. The Lord will dress you. You will have outfits. The Lord will accommodate you. He will take care of you where you reside. Those who have no rent, be encouraged. Those that are abused on your, your rentals, be encouraged. Now it is in hospitals. You get a patient and now the situation is so worse. He dies. Even a dead body is very expensive to take out of the mortuary. They ask you for 14 millions to give you a dead body. They tell you it was, it was treated. You need 14 million and get 6 million for the funeral service. Can you imagine? Now when someone gets sick, the Your heart starts pounding, now I'm sick, I only have 20,000 in my house. How am I going to survive? If he was a mighty person. But he only survived at 40 million. Sold the car and the land title. How about me? You hear the grave swallowing you alive. You, you, you reach an extent of wanting to call the neighbor. And tell them that I have... A hundred thousand on an account, hey, buy me. Hey, back cloth. Hey, buy me a back cloth. Hey, hey, back cloth. No. That is not the, the plan of God unto you. That is not the plan of God unto you. Our God is a provider. He knows the needs of our children. The tuition and scholastic materials. Uh, uh, School fees He is going to provide to you. Abraham told the son. Abraham The son asked the father. Father, chitange. How you see the wood? How you see where we are going? We are going for sacrifice. But I don't see the ram. And Abraham said, Abraham The Lord will provide. Amen. Church. The Lord will provide. The God of Elijah is worthy to be called for provision. Come on. Raise your trust unto him. Raise your eyes unto him. Don't look at your mother. However rich and business-wise he is, he can be caught on this net of business on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. God. Second Kings chapter 4 verse 1 to 6. 
waliwo ekyo kuddamu eri emitawana jense eno munaku zino there is an answer unto the, the the commotions of this world in these days aboruganda be bayo nyumba etaina banja brethren if there is a house without a debt mwesimye you're lucky enaku ze tulimu the days in which we are abantu baba banja people have debts oliye ora ku simu ne ora airtime someone borrows on the phone airtime the ye ora Berako. He loads the Berako. That is a dead. Takomoko. Not only airtime. Even now, mobile money gives out short loans. And you say, is it possible? Try and see. Presses and he sees 50,000. He says, eh. Hey, you can borrow money. Now he goes to a money lender. And he says, Do you know what? I want quick, quick. I don't have a title to take the Bible. Give me some. Borrows. As is there, he says, Oh, to finish these rentals, I need another loan. But before I get that one, let me go for a salary loan. They borrow you on a salary loan. The bank gives you a loan. Some parents, some men are not easy. You give birth to your child. Once you you put him on earth, you, he comes to earth, they, those who come to see him come with gifts. The mother <laughs> In other words, <laughs> but, but parents eat money for the babies and they don't pay back. I went to a certain family. I gave a child the money. When I went back, she, she reported the mother. They'd patched her. The money you gave me was in a tin. And mommy took it. You go, to the, you go and even take out the money in the saving box of a child. Men borrow from their wives and don't pay. Now we are in the school fees period. There are some children who are studying on loans. Once you learn to speak well with the HM and the bus, I beseech you, we, the money will We've come. We've been in this school for a time. All these years, my children are here. Don't you remember the one who sat at P7? If the Lord took us through, this time is just the situation. Please let him study. Now you see we are just from the local. A child is in school but on loan. Ladies and gentlemen, even the wealthy are demanded on loans. We've had uh, cases of harm, of death. But we, we see here at Nachivu, it's a very big building. Some of you are struggling even to get a rent or a shop there. As we are there, it was in the newspaper. Entebbe Airport, China is taking it for the debt that it has with Uganda. Brethren, do you know that we are still paying debts of Obote? Recently, they brought out a national debt of this Uganda. Uganda. Because they Uganda. Brethren, we need the Lord, the God of Elijah. But if not that, where you are, we are not sure whether you'll be there for the next three years. Because the way you borrow money as you, you put your house as security, the devil also penetrated into this. Game. You go to the bank, you request for a loan, you give them your title. Your credit officer. 
Seize that the title is fertile. Remember they undervalued it when they were giving you the loan. He puts you on tension. When the day to pay comes, he loses. He, he disappears. There is a man with whom his house was taken because the money lender was meandering. They, 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 they have an MOU and debt collectors. Once you take the money, it's a different person who gives you the money and a different person who comes to collect the debt. The people who borrow, you make sure you default that they may sell off your, your property. Men cry when they were forced out of their houses, bank property. Born agains ask one thing. How am I going through The car is of a loan. What? The mobile phones on loan, really? Cool. Yes. Yes. Mobile cool. phones. Cool. Cool. If you feel you love it. Okay. Ah, you said, don't worry, you bring now, you take the phone. Now we are almost putting on clothes for loans. This thing, loan, 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 is taking us somewhere. Brethren. Brethren are sick, are, 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 are very ill because of loan. Elisha, Elisha was there. And a woman came. She was a woman of a minister. And she said, I'm dying. Not only that. The debt collector is selling us. Because we Maybe the debt collector looked at the wife, the sons, and the small treasure that he may gain something. But I thank the Lord for the word he placed in the mouth of Elisha. Ask the woman, what do you have? The woman said nothing. But truth, she had something. And she said, except the little oil in the jars in the house. Elisha told the woman, Go and gather everything. All the tins, the jars, and everything, the pots, all the things you have in your house. The Lord is going to do a miracle in your house. Anointing will flow to overflow. And, and, and the oil started flowing until all things were filled up. And, she, and he told her, go and sell that and pay the loan. Friends, the God of Elijah, there is a house he wants to touch. Debt collection, debt servicing. The Lord is calling you in a debt servicing that you may pay all your debts. Brethren, now first stop borrowing. Because it has now become a vicious sack of, of, of loaning. A person has four loans. Loan number three. Pays number two. And number one. Now loan number four. <laughs> He's doing the work that loan number one had to do. Brethren, see such kind we need of to bond. break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are some people that the Lord is breaking it off your life in Jesus' name. Oh.